Hi everyone, I'm Lee Herbert and you're not, which is just as well because if you were you'd be using my credit card and that would get awkward. So I wanted to show you how I color corrected this footage that I recorded this morning of my brother um, in S-Log2 off of my A7S. So here's all the basic footage that I've got in here and you can see that having been shot in S-Log it's pretty flat. So we want to add a bit of, bit of color, a bit of pop to it. Uh, to begin with, I'm just going to mute my audio. So I'm just going to select my audio and click on V to mute it because we don't need to listen to the audio. And come over and put my playhead over in the bottom left hand side here over my first clip and select the clip. I'm then going to go into my color corrector and my inspector and you can activate the inspector by clicking on Command 4 to bring it up and get rid of it. And then come up over to my color correction and move to this little arrow where it says show correction. Now before I can do any color corrections I need to bring up my scopes which are going to give me a much better idea of what needs to be adjusted. The keyboard shortcut for that is command 7. So I click command 7 that brings up my scopes and already I'm on my waveform here and you can see that over at 100 I'm not particularly close to that. I'm not particularly close to zero so I need to give myself more room to move. So I'm going to come over to my color corrector over on the right hand side of the screen and I'm just going to pull my highlights up until they get a little bit closer. Now you can see I do have a little bit of peaking over above 100 but I'm not too worried about that in this shot. Then I'm going to go and take my shadows and pull them down so that they're closer to zero so that gives me a lot more contrast to work with. And then I'm going to have a play with my midtones and see kind of what sort of works with that. And if you look at the scopes and then you look at the image itself that pretty much looks pretty good. Now I come back to my color corrector um, in the top right hand corner and I click on saturation. And you can go over to your scopes and say that you want to see the histogram that shows your colors a bit more. But to be honest, I just use visual cues in terms of how saturated I want to get the image. So I'm just going to pull all my saturations up on this one because with S-Log it's all pretty flat. And then I'll adjust this accordingly when I get my colors sort of more accurate and actually just looking at that visually I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that uh, but just to be absolutely sure I'm gonna go onto the third tab and click on color and then I'm gonna go to my scopes and activate the vector scope now on my vector scope this line sort of at 45 degrees on the left hand side that represents skin tone so as long as this highlighted bit in the middle represents goes along there I've got my skin tone so I'm just gonna have a little bit of a play with my colors and see what I can do to just see what kind of look and feel I want to use. So I'm just going to grab my mid-tones and give them a bit more of an orangey feel. And that, yeah, I quite like that actually. I'm going to go and grab my shadows, give that a bit more of an orangey feel and a little bit too much. Now I'm actually just going to grab my highlights. I'm just going to move them around. So it gives a bit of a reddish tinge, a bit of a yellowish tinge, green tinge, bluish. I actually like this sort of bluish tinge. And that's kind of look that I'm happy with. Now I could go and color correct each one of these individual clips but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these these color corrections and paste them as attributes into all of my other clips see what it looks like because that sort of gets the basics done for me and then make little tiny adjustments as I go along. So I'm going to select my clip go command C to copy then select the clip that I want to paste those attributes onto and I'm going to go command shift V and I'm going to select color as the attribute that I want to paste. Click paste and voila, it's gone and updated that entire clip. And I'm just going to skim my playhead over that a bit. It's a little bit too dark with this one. So I'm going to go into my corrections and adjust that. I'm going to go command seven to bring up my scopes again. And first of all, we'll go and have a look at our waveform. Yeah, you can see right away on the waveform that everything's sort of crushed down at the bottom. So I'm going to go back to my exposure settings here and I'm going to pull my highlights up a bit, yeah about there, pull my shadows up a bit and actually pull my midtones down and pull my highlights up a bit more and that's more sort of the look that I'd like for this clip. So now I'm going to go across to the next clip, shift command V to paste attributes, select color, paste the attributes and now let's have a look and with this one I'm actually happy with the way it looks right away. Now to the next clip, shift command V, paste attributes, select color, paste and again this one's 
going a little bit too much because obviously the color was different, the lighting was different at the time. So I'm going to pull the highlights up on that, pull the shadows down a bit, uh, pull the shadows up a bit actually, pull the midtones, and that's sort of more where I wanted. And this is actually a little bit too too yellow, so I'm going to go back to my color and I'm going to pull my blue to give it more of a bluish tinge. And that's a really simple way of how to do color correction in Final Cut Pro 10.